DVD-ROMs. Yeah, I know, it, it seems like an, an old thing, but hey, some things come back. A lot of things from the 80s would come back. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. But DVD-ROMs, they were really popular at one point. DVD-ROMs. I don't know if you know what they are, it's, it, it's kind of a mystery. I know, it's kind of an artifact, but hey, you might need it sometime. But there's a problem here. Who uses a DVD-ROM? Well, no computers nowadays have them. There's a business class laptop right here. This thing doesn't have a DVD-ROM. Oh, gaming laptop, maybe they do. Nope, no DVD-ROM. So, we'll have to dig into the storage bin. Oh look, this thing from like 10 years ago has a DVD-ROM. Well, today we're taking it out and making it portable. So, you're probably really wondering what this video is about now at this point, going, how's he gonna make a laptop DVD drive portable? Well, <laughs> I know, but I came across this problem and I really wanted to run a DVD and I was like, nothing I have says a DVD-ROM, but I have this old laptop sitting around. I can take that DVD-ROM out and somehow make it portable, I think. And lo and behold, you can. So, this little device that I found, on Amazon. So it's a DVD-ROM kind of like shell to make a DVD-ROM portal from a laptop. But you need to make sure it has 12.7 meter, 12.7 millimeter SATA. Um, and that's the size of the SATA connection on the back of the CD-ROM. And I'll show you that once we get to that point, part of the video. Um, because only select models, I would say from maybe the last 10 years, maybe 20 years pushing it, um, we'll be able to do this. And the idea is you're going to make it really successful. Like you can get rid of the old crappy laptop, keep the DVD drive, keep it portable, keep the DVD ROM, portable DVD ROM in your bag, just in case you need it. It's a great solution. And it saves some hardware that you were just going to throw in the bin. So how do we do this? Okay. Okay. So we got our old relic right here. Piece of junk. Never going to use it. Probably most likely never going to use it, but has the DVD ROM. So all you have to do to get this out, there's a tiny little pin right there. You push that out and it pops the DVD ROM out as it opens, like it's a force open. And there's usually one little screw. Usually you'll see a tiny little logo of a disc next to the screw. That means that's holding the CD-ROM in place. Once you remove that screw, you can pull the CD-ROM right out. Now this isn't for every single laptop. Laptops are different. So look up the manual or look up the teardown of your particular laptop to find out where that screw is that holds the CD-ROM in so you can tear it out and then make sure your SATA port is the size you need. <laughs> okay, so ready for everybody? We're gonna take this CD-ROM out, but we're gonna do it by video magic because we don't wanna spend all day taking the CD-ROM out. So you ready? Let's go. YouTube magic, boom! DVD-ROM. Okay, so we have our DVD-ROM, but the one thing you wanna keep is a little end piece though, because yes, this little shell comes with one, but it doesn't fit all DVD ROMs. So this might not work for you. So make sure to keep this so that you can have a little functional buttons. Granted, you could push the button yourself if you want to, but sometimes that's a pain in the butt. Now, all we have to do is this thing has two little screws at the bottom, which I just removed the little feet on the end. And there's two tiny little screws that come out. Once you remove the two tiny little screws, this thing slides apart real easy. Then all you have to do, take your CD-ROM, and slide it in. And there we go. Now you just grab your outer piece, this little shell right here, this goes. this and boom now you have your front piece then so then you add your little front piece and there you go it kind of looks a little janky but it works for this one this one's kind of a weird like bulgy like end to a DVD drive but hey they make them all different though yours might not be so crazy but for me, I just leave that thing off and just push the button anyway. 
It's just as simple for me. It's going in my bag anyway. And if you notice, the USB is actually retractable and it's USB 3.0, if you're wondering. Now these things, these kits, you can find them on Amazon fairly cheap. Now granted, I would go looking only for really, really cheap ones because if you go over like the $15 range, you might as well buy a DVD ROM at that point because the portable DVD ROMs are about 15 bucks. Okay, so we have a portable DVD ROM, so let's test it out, make sure it works. Oh, we got the light. There's a little LED. No. Oh, it looks, it pops right open. Okay, so we're gonna run a classic. Bruce Almighty, why not? And so everybody knows, when you run DVDs, especially portable, most people, most computers do not have a program that will run DVDs default, like offhand. Um, because they don't have DVD-ROMs anymore. So, but one great program a lot of us have, VLC player. I'm sure a lot of you already use VLC player and it will automatically play DVDs. Then we'll just play it. And boom, we're now playing a DVD on a computer that normally did not have a DVD-ROM, a little portable DVD-ROM from a DVD-ROM from like 10 years ago which is awesome. We have saved hardware for the future, just in case you need it, you know? It's a nice little thing. You always wanna reuse things. So we've done something very successful. Like this is a beautiful solution, especially for someone that really does need a portable DVD ROM and they don't wanna go spend the money on a DVD ROM. These are really cheap kits. They're really easy to put together. And I'm sure some of you have old laptops sitting around, especially in your closet, maybe in your cellar, maybe you have a friend that has one just sitting around, doesn't know what to do with it. And hey, you can take it out. And another thing too, a lot of people are just taking their old DVD ROMs out and putting SSDs in them. Well, what are you gonna do with that old DVD ROM? You're just gonna throw it away? No, make it portable. And we're gonna have a future video how to actually replace your DVD ROM to an SSD. But thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you thought this video helped you out, helped you make a portable DVD-ROM you might actually use.